Okay, so how well do you actually understand percent? Well, if you have pretty strong basic math skills in terms of percent, this should be a very easy problem to solve with the aid of a calculator. All right, so the problem is 18% of what number is 60? We're looking for that specific number such that when we take 18% of that number, the answer is 60. All right, now this is a multiple choice question and let's take a look at our answer choices. So A is 3.3, B is 0.3, C is 10.8, and D is 333.3. All right, now once again, feel free to use a calculator, but if you can figure this out, go ahead and put your answer into the comment section. I'll show you the correct answer in just one second, then of course we'll walk through exactly how to solve this problem step by step. But uh, before we get started, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John, and I have been teaching middle and high school math for decades. And if you need help learning math, check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. And if this video helps you out, or if you just enjoy this content, make sure to like and subscribe, as that definitely helps me out. All right, now before I show you the answer, I want to talk about percent in terms of how many of you out there uh, learn this in school. There's different ways you can approach this problem. Now, there's only one right answer, but uh, the uh, method I'm going to take may be a little bit different from the method that you are going to take to solve this right. And as long as you understand what you're doing and it's mathematically correct, that's all that uh, you know really counts. And uh, some of you might get this right, but you have to ask yourself, were you just lucky? Just, you know, did you really understand what you were doing or just, you know, did you guess? Now, if you want to guess, that's fine. But the whole goal of this video is to make sure you understand how to solve percent problems, because if there's anything in terms of practical mathematics that you want to understand, percent is probably the number one thing on that list. All right. So let's go ahead and take a look at the answer. The correct answer is D 333.3. Now, if you got this right, you definitely get a happy face, an A plus, a 100%, and a certificate of excellence because you definitely appear to be a certified professional expert in the area of solving percent problems. Now, this particular problem is a little bit more uh, interesting than simply finding the percent of a number, like 7% of 90 or something like that. Most people can do those type of uh, problems, but uh, this one here is a little bit more interesting. So if you didn't get this right, uh, stick with me. I'll give you a great method to solve this problem. Now, let's go ahead and take a look at the question here. And this is a multiple choice question. So you might be saying, all right, 18% of some number is 60. Now, if you know what the word is represents in math, it's effectively the equal sign. So 18% of some number is 60. So what is that number? Well, it's the, it's one of these numbers right here. Now, obviously, this is the right answer. But if you know how to find the percent of a number, i.e. something like 7% of 90, if you could do a problem like this, well, you should be, you could have used these answers to figure this out because you're going to be like, all right, let me see, 18% of 3.3, uh, what is that equal to? You could calculate that and you'd be like, well, that's definitely not 60. And you could just kind of go through this list until you come across this answer, which is the correct answer. So let's quickly review how to find the percent of a number before we get into how to uh, solve these type of uh, percent problems. So 18% of 50, this will be a nice, lovely little example. How do you find the percent of a number? Okay, this is probably the most common percent scenario that uh, most of us have to deal with. So uh, for those of you that are not quite sure, just think about this for a second, but if you know the procedure, uh, go ahead and put that into the comment section. Basically, uh, tell me what your steps would be. Step one, I would do this. Step two, I would do this. Or step three, I would do whatever. Okay, so uh, typically this should be, uh, I'm going to say three steps. Okay, uh, maybe two, but maybe uh, two to three, all depending on how you want to describe the procedure. But let me go ahead and just kind of uh, uh, give you an overview of what we need to do to find the percent of a number. All right, so the first thing is we need to change this percent to a decimal. Okay, so that's step one. Once we have that, then we're going to multiply by the number, and then, we, of course, we get the answer. All right, so that is the procedure. So we're going to um, 
uh, change the percent to a decimal and then multiply it by the number. And we want to use a calculator to make this uh, easy. So uh, what we need to do is discuss how do we change a percent to a decimal, right? Well, that requires its own little uh, step. So let's talk about that right now. All right, so to uh, change a percent to a decimal or to express a percent as a decimal, what we need to do is divide by 100. So here, this 18%, we're gonna take uh, 18 and divide it by 100, and we're going to get 0.18. Now, uh, this is the same thing, or the result of dividing a percent by 100 is the same thing as moving the decimal point over two places to the left. So if you want to change a percent to a decimal, all you have to do is divide by 100 or move the decimal point over two places to the left. But basically, uh, the result of dividing anything by 100 is the decimal point is going to be moved over two places to the left. Now, some of you might be saying, hey, Mr. YouTube Math Man, I don't see the, the decimal point here. You might be like, well, uh, I like to move the decimal point, but I don't see uh, a decimal point here. Well, you can always add in a decimal point, uh, like a number like 18%. Uh, by just going 18.0%, right? So just put the decimal point behind that last digit. If you don't see the decimal point now, you're like, oh, I could just move this over two places to the left. So one, two, two digits to the left, right? So one, two, so we have 0.18. Now, again, you could take that 18 and divide it by 100, but I would encourage you to remember just to move that decimal point over two places to the left. All right, so now that we know how to uh, write a percent um, as a decimal, all we have to do is multiply that 0.18 uh, times 50. So let's go to do that right now. So 18% again as a decimal is 0.18, and then we're gonna multiply that, uh, that by 50, and then we can use our calculator. Uh, 0.18 times 50 is nine. All right, so you have to be able to do these type of problems right here before you would take on the original problem uh, in this video. But uh, if you forgot how to find the percent of a number, no big deal. But if you understand this, well, then solving our original problem here is going to be quite easy. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at the problem right now. So I told you that this uh, word is, is the same thing as an equal sign. So what we have is 18% of some number. Now remember, we wanna find 18% of some number, like 18% of 50, right? So what do we do when we were looking at the problem 18% of 50? Remember, we just did that right over here, right? 18% of 50, we changed the percent to a decimal and then we multiplied by the number that was this right here is 18% of 50. So remember, we're going to take that 18%, and write it as 0.18 and then multiply it by the number, okay? So this right here, you could express 18%, 18% of 50 is nine. 18% of 50 is nine. Okay, now I want you to kind of remember that because we're gonna apply this same logic in this uh, problem right here. 18% of what number? Well, we don't know what that number is, okay? Uh, so let's just use a basic algebra um, variable, okay, like something like x, right? Just something to represent this number. So 18% of some number, some mystery number, uh, is 60 or is equal to 60. So how do I find 18% of any number? Well, remember, I got to take that percent and write it as a decimal. So 0.18 times this number, uh, like x, so 0.18 times this number x is equal to 60. And that's what we want to do here is use some very basic, simple algebra to set up an equation. Okay, 0.18x is equal to 60, or 18% of some number, okay, uh, is 60. So I like to use algebra to solve percent um, uh, problems like this. It just makes it really easy. Now, again, in the beginning of this video, some of you learn how to solve uh, these type of percent problems using a different uh, kind of approach, or you're thinking of it, thinking about it in a different way. That's perfectly fine as long as you're uh, confident in your ability, and uh, you know you're obviously you know getting the right answer. So let's go ahead and uh, again. Uh, just review 18% of what number is 60. Remember in mathematics is is the equal sign. What number? Well, I don't know uh, what number. So we'll let this variable X represent that number. So 18% of any number is going to be 0.18 
times that number. So 0.18x is equal to 60. So now all we have to do is solve this basic equation. All right, so let's go ahead and take that next step, which of course is having you quickly subscribe to my YouTube channel. Don't you just love the way I kind of sneak that in? I got to sneak that in because I'm just like, yes, yes. Well, that's a terrible little, I'm, I'm kind of more like this. Well, you know, I've been on YouTube for a long time, like 10 plus years. And I think I'm about like 3,000 uh, videos and I'm like at 93 million views. It's kind of crazy. You know, I haven't really thought, you know, been thinking about uh, the growth of this channel, you know, for the first number of years I've been on YouTube, I just kind of put content out there. But as my channel has grown and I've got, a, you know, some pretty good feedback, you know, I really take, you know, um, you know, what I'm doing here on YouTube pretty seriously. OK, and it really it's given me a great um, kind of venue opportunity to help a lot of people. And that makes me feel good because as a math teacher, you know, you're not really happy unless you have some students to teach. So the only way I can continue to grow up this channel is to get your support and uh, to be um, you know, really honest with you, when you hit that subscribe button, it does a lot with that YouTube algorithm. I know a lot of uh, people ask, hey, hit the subscribe button. Well, it's that important, right? So this is a great way to show your support. And if you're going to do that, hit that notification bell as well so you can get my latest videos. All right, so uh, before I wrap up this uh, video, by the way, if you are struggling with percent, you want to kind of maybe um, relearn some basic math, I'll give you some uh, specific suggestions. But let's go back to the problem. And here we had 18% of some number. Remember, if we want to find the, perc uh, the percent of a particular number, we change that percent, okay, 18% to a decimal. That's 0.18, and then we multiply by that number. So this is 18% of some number is 60, all right? Or the equation 0.18x is equal to 60. So to solve for x, all I have to do literally is divide both sides of the equation by 0.18. So you're going to get 60 divided by 0.18, and when we use our calculator, we'll get 333.3 uh, uh, and then a bunch of threes repeating. You could just put a little bar over that. That's uh, 0.3 repeating. All right, now uh, let's go back up here to the um, multiple choice question. Now, one of the things that you may have noticed is that these answers here, 3.3.3, 10.8, are going to be the result of doing something with these numbers. Maybe you took like a, a 0.8, you know, uh, let's see, divided by 60. You know, maybe you did that. Uh, of course, 60 divided by 0.18 is the way we got to our answer, right? So let me just make sure that is correct. Uh, it is. You know, I, sometimes I forget things in these videos. Let me scroll down here. Yeah, to get the right answer was 60 divided by 0.18. But let's say someone did uh, 0.18. Uh, over 60 or 60 times 0.18 or some other kind of variation of these numbers, right? Uh, you're going to come up with different um, answers, okay? So you have to be very careful if you are a math student or if you're working with a percent because sometimes people go, oh, yeah, I kind of remember you got to do something like a decimal here, 0.18, and then, uh, you know, maybe I multiply, maybe I divide this number by that number. You don't want to be guessing, okay, when it comes to percent. You want to be absolutely confident. Again, when it comes to practical math, there is no other, um, there's really nothing more important, you know, in terms of practical math than your ability to work with percent. Because this symbol is everywhere. Think about it. You're seeing this all day long. If you look at your cell phone, it's like, oh, my cell phone is at 95%. That's great. I can watch this guy's YouTube videos. Uh, you know, my phone's all charged up. Whatever the case is, you know, you look at commercials. They're talking about interest rates, car loan rates, you know, credit card rates, this percent, inflation. Uh, you know, go to the store, you know, there's sales at a certain percent off. Oh, you put your money in this bank, you can uh, get this uh, percent, uh, you know, return on your investment on and on and on and on and on. You're running into the percent symbol all day long. So it's important that you know how to work with percent and not just the basic percent prompts, uh, things that are a little more interesting like this. So let me give you a couple quick suggestions. One, I have a ton, if you want to learn more about basic math and percent, one, I have a ton of uh, uh, videos on this topic on my YouTube channel. Uh, so check that out. But uh, check out my Math Foundations course, all right, or my Math Skills Rebuilder course. You'll find links to those 
in the description of this video. I basically build you up from the beginning. I start with basic, basic math. Uh, so don't feel bad about not remembering things that maybe, you know, I'm talking about elementary, primary school, middle school. Yeah, maybe you've, you've been out of school for 40 uh, plus years, 30 years, 20 years. You forgot that stuff. It doesn't mean that, you know, there's nothing, you know, that's not like a bad thing. It just happens, right? If you're not using your math skills, you definitely will forget them. But uh, it's kind of like riding a bike. Once you start doing it again, you'll start remembering it. So check out those courses. You'll find links to those in the description of this video. But uh, hopefully this little video helped you out. And if that's the case, don't forget to like and subscribe. And with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your math adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.